Hey, welcome back to Milton Daily Homes. Chuck here. We have a list of 18 properties today. I hope you had a great weekend. And uh, we don't do the episodes on Saturday or Sunday. The way the market moves right now, buyers are at a disadvantage by not getting the information seven days a week with immediate access because even sites like realtor.ca, they don't have information right now. They have it a day or two after it's listed, which is too late for a lot of these homes. So I'll give you some examples today. And then if you are interested in getting listings immediately, then you might wanna go either up there on the search for homes and uh, fill in some criteria, or you can go over there. It might even be over there, it depends on what device you're on, but that just sign up for the new listings by email. You're going to find that it's a lot better to use something like our Market Watch program, which is directly into the Realtor database versus any public third-party site. So let's get started with the list. We'll talk about some homes. Now, 1025 Nadlin Heights, number 14, is 449.9. We've seen smaller models than this, 1350 square feet, sell for like 460, 465. We had an end unit, uh, about 1350 square feet, that sold for 470 something. So at 449, if you look at the pictures on this one, it's done really well. I don't know how it looks in person, but I'll tell you the pictures are very impressive. And uh, yeah, you gotta figure this one has the goods to sell for more than this. But there's one little caveat here, which I think is important to note. Even having the his, hers closets, very nice. Uh, frameless shower there. Uh, so here's the thing. So this area, Nadlin Heights, and then also 6020 Dairy, and I have to be careful because someone who works in this office lives at 6020 Dairy. But here's the thing. There's a road maintenance fee that you don't see in this listing, but I can see it in the broker comments. That's $131 a month. So right now, if you took a $10,000 mortgage, it would cost you about $45 per month. So I look at that, say 133 divided by 45. Okay, so that's just around three times. So three times 10,000, th this would be like you're paying with that extra road maintenance fee, which is just garbage removal and snow removal, which you'd get anywhere else. You're looking at this would cost you like you're spending $30,000 extra, if that makes sense. So it's like you're buying this for four fifty, but your payments would feel like you're buying it for four eighty. dollars so, I know this one's gonna sell for more. Some people don't care because they say, well, it's $130. But on a mortgage, if you amortize that around, it's the same thing when you go to areas with higher taxes. You say, oh, it's only a thousand a year. But if you look at the monthly payment difference, it can dramatically change your cash flow, which is the amount of money coming out of your pocket each month. So anyway, let's see what happens with this one. But I, I know that it's going to get more than this. It just, it looks too good not to. 506 Collis Court, 579, we've got, it says approximately 1800, it's 17 something. They don't make this model anymore. So you've got a front living room, you've got a dining room, right here, that's the dining room. There's no table in there. They've just kind of made it this open area. I think it would have looked better with a table. Kitchen, family room, three bedrooms plus laundry upstairs, nice sized laundry room. And then you also have a finished basement that, I mean, that bathroom to me looks better than most homes. So it's, uh, it, they've done a good job here. I don't know if there's any grass in the backyard, but I think that they, uh, they priced it pretty well given what else has been selling for this size of home. So instead of sorting by price like I usually do on Monday, we're just gonna throw them out as is. So Laurier's 339, condo townhouse 318 a month, uh, pays for your water and then building insurance, common elements. So it's not like you're, you still have to pay your heat and hydro on top of that. Nice finishes though. And really there hasn't been a lot in this price range that, I mean, everything's crept up, you know, like all the condo towns now are, if they're in good shape, they're at 350. Uh, I think this one looks pretty good for what you're getting. I like the area too. You can walk to a lot of different things Rad Brothers, right around the corner. No frills. Uh, you've got Food Port. You've got Dairy Queen. You've got Tim Hortons. There's uh, Tobogganing Hill for kids not that far away. So there's 
Right at Laurier in Ontario is a good little spot to get to a lot of things. It's a nice one. Now my eyes are bleeding from the contrast levels on this photo. So Jemson Path is $4.99. Um, yeah, look at that. That is just, it's like watching a cartoon. It's not even real. Um, this one's a three bedroom. It's got the double garage in the back. That doesn't look real to me. That's way too blue to be a normal sky. The last few that have sold have been like, you know, 510, 550, and 520. This one's a good deal at 499, and I think they're holding back on offers on this one too. Wouldn't be surprised. So this one on McDonald is, is really, really cute. I was in it on the weekend, but here's a great example of being plugged into emails. So you're hearing about this Monday. I, it came out Friday, Friday late day. I saw it, booked it for Saturday morning, showed up at the property and was told that there's two offers presenting Saturday night at eight o'clock. So unless you heard about that listing either Friday or early Saturday, you wouldn't have had a chance at this one. They weren't holding back on offers on it. It's a bit of a tricky value thing because there's not many carport sales in this area, although the last one was really nice and it sold for like 590 something. So backyard was a good size. You had this little uh, hammock. You had a, a covered lanai, like you've got screens here just to prevent the bugs. You could hang out outside. Good size living room and, and dining room. Kitchen was big enough to put uh, a table. The cabinets look good. Very, very clean, tidy, uh, very well kept. Some of the finishes were a bit older, but the, the pride of ownership was was very, very good in this one. And, and, and you could tell that they really cared about it. Only one bathroom in the home too, which is a little bit of a downside. Otherwise my clients might've gone for it, uh, but it had at least a couple offers. It's probably sold by now. But that's the advantage of getting plugged into a system quicker. Powadick Place, good deal. You got a kitchen and a bathroom downstairs, finished basement, which you usually don't see in homes of this age. This home is still very, very new. Interesting play on the stainless steel and white. I mean, you see the stainless steel here, but the white fridge, but then the stove is white, but it's got some stainless steel in it. Anyway. It's very clean, very well kept, all the right upgrades, and that's your basement. Very cool basement. You gotta pay for a fence, maybe $1,500 when you share the cost with your neighbors. Yeah, looks good for $634.9. There are homes in this range that I don't like nearly as much as this one here. It's a good one. Same price, a little bit older. You get the advantage of the green space behind. It's an all brick. It's a Pilgrim model, 1740 square feet. Hardwood stairs. You've got hardwood floors on the main level. And I think you've got laminate up on the second. There's your finished basement with a bedroom. The photos jump around between basement and upstairs. That's your upstairs room. They love putting stone on walls. And then you've got your green space behind. And the other thing, I think you can park two cars side by side on the driveway. I don't know if maybe it shows it here. Yeah, you could probably extend this out and do something like that where you've got two cars side by side. Yeah, nice one. Good price too. 718 Yates, 759. It's uh, wood lily. It's got a nice elevation stone and stucco. Backs onto a pond. This might get the pick of the day for me. I don't know about a fairy tale design, but let's leave that as it is. Built in appliances, stainless steel. You've got your moldings around the top of the cabinets. Uh, nice eat in area here, too. And the eat in actually overlooks the pond. You can see it there. Even upstairs, you've got this uh, the front bedroom has kind of a turret over in the corner, which you see in the next photo here, too. So that's a nice little place for a, a home office. Uh, and you still get the use of the room there. It's a big, it's a large room and views off the back to the pond. Uh, I don't know where the clothes went, but it's a, uh, it's a very, very nice looking home. Well-priced. 61 Mary Street, 869. It's a nice looking home and they don't come up very often on Mary Street. Lots of charm, the exposed uh, wood beams. You've got a kitchen that has some upgrades. Uh, yeah, really, they don't make these homes like this anymore. I don't know if I could fit into the shower, but maybe if you're small enough, you could. 
Either way, it looks like a neat property. You're on the classic 66 by 132 foot lot, which is probably worth without the house 500 grand on its own. So there we go, that's the list for today. And uh, plug into the system, I don't know why you wouldn't. Market Watch, daily listings by email. You can go to miltonmarketwatch.com or you'll find it somewhere around here, depending on where you're at. Okay, so let's, uh, let's call the day and we'll see you tomorrow with more Milton Daily Homes.